In this section, we'll look at the main features of SPSS. Download world95.xls Then, in SPSS, open a file. Navigate to the location of world95 and then make sure to change the file type to .xls. We can now open world95 except that the first row has variable names and we sh you should get a file which contains about a hundred countries 109 countries and um, about 20-30 odd variables. There are three types of files we'll be working with in SPSS. This is a data file. It has a data view and variable view. In the variable view the variables are now in the rows and properties of the variables are in columns whereas in data view we have cases in rows and variables in the columns. Once we do an, an analysis such as a histogram of life expectancy for females once this command is executed then we have an output file and into the output file there may be text, graphs and tables. We can save our data file and call it world95 and the extension will be .spv. So I'm going to save that onto my desktop along with my world95 data file. The third type of file is a syntax file and whenever you're in a command whether you have the option of cl clicking on paste such as here frequencies for life expectancy of females and it will then automatically dump into SPSS into a text file which is a syntax file in SPSS the commands in syntax we can add comments as long as they end in a full stop SPSS won't recognize them and commands can be executed by clicking the cursor anywhere inside a command and then clicking on the play button and the results of the command will display in the output window. So as with the other windows we should save our syntax file world95 and this will be a .sps file. Here are the key features then of each of the three file types that we should become familiar with. So starting with data files in the variable view we have the name of a vari variable. It can not have any spaces and capitals and lowercase don't matter. Type of variable can either be numeric which is uh, for number data and string which is for typically letters and other non-numerical characters. Width of the variable is how many characters can be stored uh, in each cell. Number of decimal places is just how many displays on the screen, not how many are stored. The label is where you can write a longer form description of each variable which is helpful particularly when trying to interpret output. Value labels are when we could allocate um, labels to categorical data such as one for males to for females if this were uh, a gender variable and the advantage of that would be uh, again to help interpret the output and also uh, to aid with entry of the data. 